The blend tool is a good tool to use to create a series of objects. One way we can use it is by making an object like a, an ellipse. And if we have another ellipse somewhere else on the board, what I'll do is just drag it with the black arrow and hold down the Option key or Alt on a PC. I'll drag it to the right. And now I'm going to use the Blend tool, which is this tool here. And I'm going to click on a point. Remember, there's points on each of the ends of these, this circle. You can kind of see the Blend tool turns black when it gets on top of a point. When I click on a point, it measures the first shape and then I click on the second point and it inserts two shapes between these uh, ellipses. So now instead of two ellipses we have four. Now what if I only wanted one between the two of these? I could double click on the blend tool and switch it from spacing smooth color to spacing specified steps and I'll type in one. Now if we click OK we have three instead of four. So this is an, a good way to create a series of objects that are evenly spaced out. But another thing you can do with the blend tool is to morph one shape into another one. So if I start off with a square and then I draw an ellipse over here, I can use the blend tool, click on one of the points of the square, maybe I'll click, click on the corner up here, and then just choose any point on the circle and you can see that the square becomes morphed into that circle. You can see the point that we started with, is here it is, there it is, there it is, there it is, and there it is. So depending on which points you click, you'll get different effects with that morph. And this can be a nice effect to use for illustration and other things. Now anytime I want to actually make these objects of their own instead of being part of this blend, I can go under Object, Expand, and I'll turn off Fill and Stroke, and I'll click OK. Now I've got separate objects, if you can see that. Whereas before, for instance up here, these are all part of a, a blend, and I can actually do certain things with that. If I click on one of the points of the center of this and pull it, you can see that those circles follow suit with it. Whereas this, if I click on this circle and drag it, it sort of moves independently. So depending on what you want to do, you can expand out your blends.